Hi guys, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. Today Brooklyn's helping me out and we're going to show you guys how to do a hairstyle that we're calling the Viking braid. Now the good thing about this braid is it's just a really simple braid into a ponytail, but it's you can kind of lean it more towards like a Viking warrior princess or you can lean it more towards the boho side, which is very fun when it comes to one hairstyle because it, it really can go either way depending on what you're wearing, which is cool. Now to begin, we're using second day curls, so we're just using the curls she had in from yesterday. I've taken her hair pretty much from the temple over and flipped it to the side, and then I've pulled out just one little piece that we're gonna leave for softness around her face. I'm gonna go right here by her ear and pick up a section of hair, and I'm gonna begin a Dutch braid. So we're just gonna do a regular Dutch braid, and we are gonna add in pieces on the top and the bottom. And it's just a very true Dutch braid right through here. This would be simple to do on yourself since it's right here working on the side of your head so you can still see what you're doing in a mirror, anything like that. And as we're going back, we're just following kind of the natural hairline, so we're going at a slight downward angle and we're just still picking up hair on both sides. And we're gonna go back. I'm gonna probably have, I don't know, five or six braid sections before I'm finished with this. And when you get done with this part, then I'm just gonna finish off with a normal three strand braid here at the bottom. Now before I get too far down, I'm gonna go back and pull and pancake this hair while I still have loose ends. This You can braid it all the way down and do it, but it's harder to pull the hair all the way up at the top then. So I'm gonna go back and do it now. You can see I'm just grabbing the outside edges and pancaking the braid. When I get to the bottom, I'm gonna still leave probably a good three, four inches at the end. And then I'm gonna go back and just pancake this part too. And then you can secure the ends with an elastic. I still like to leave some ends hanging out because it's just a little more natural look. It's not quite so structured, which I think comes off feeling a little more boho or also like a Viking warrior would wear it a little more. Loose. You can go back and tweak anything that you want. Make sure it's all pancaked really nice and full. Okay, and then you've got your braid all set. Now with the rest of the hair, you're going to take it and flip it so it's straight back. Now I'm gonna flip part of her hair forward, just right here, the front section. And then I'm gonna take these back sections and I'm just gonna add just a little bit of tease to her hair, just to add some fullness on the top and some volume. And you can skip this step if you, know, you don't wanna tease, that's fine too. If you're teasing, not ratting your hair, it shouldn't be too hard to comb out. Then I'm gonna flip the whole thing back over. And really, <clears throat> just pull it into a very unstructured ponytail. I am gonna pull just another piece of hair out on this side to match the one on the other side. So I'm just gathering up the rest really just even finger, finger combing it all into a ponytail. I'm gonna do it sort of like right below the crown. <clears throat> and the only trick here is you just wanna make sure you have some hair covering up that part line where the braid is. And when you kind of get your hair placed where you want it, pull it to soften it a little, then you're gonna add the braid in. So you just reach and grab that too. And then you can take an elastic this one and go ahead and secure the whole thing. Oh, 
Okay, now at this point, you can pull and tug and tweak to your content. So if you want it really soft, this is where you do that. If you want it really tight and slick, you can do that as well. I'm just gonna make sure that's tight and secure on our head. So again, you just wanna make sure that you have hair that covers the part line. You can even kind of reach down and tuck it underneath this braid and pancake it just a little bit more so it sits on top of that part line. We really want the braid to pop. And then what I'm gonna do to finish it all off and to cover our not so pretty elastic is take a piece of hair from underneath and just take it and wrap it up and over, around and around until that hair completely covers the ponytail holder. And then take a bobby pin and go ahead and just bobby pin that end piece up so it's hidden. And there you've got your elastic all nicely hidden. And this is what's fun about this braid is it's just, you know, it kind of looks like a normal hairstyle from the front. Then you turn it to the side and it's this fun accent braid just running through the ponytail that really pops, but it adds a lot of dynamic to the hairstyle, which I love. Let's do the final spin. So we have this kapow factor with the braid, and then it just becomes a more normal looking ponytail on the other side which is so fun. And guess what's going on over on Brooklyn and Bailey's channel? We are doing a giveaway for these four iPad minis. Hey. If you guys want to enter, be sure to click the box here or in the, the link in the description box below. It is super exciting. We'll be picking four people to win one of these iPads, which is awesome. Just in the spirit of, of Christmas, Christmas and giving back. Yes. And we've done this giveaway. Yeah. It's really simple to enter. You really only have one requirement and then there's a whole bunch of ways to earn bonus entries. So go check it out and we will see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys, bye. You can pull as much or as little as you like. I really want to overemphasize the top braids, so I'm just trying to make sure these are really pulled out. Are you checking your phone? <laughs>